Hey folks, Jonathan here, and I'm here with Zane Block Studios. We are here in Salt Lake City, Utah for a very special event. Tonight, John Reese davies the actor that played Sala in Indiana Jones, is hosting a private red carpet that I was invited to. So Zane lives here in Salt Lake. He's my plus one. He's going to be on video duty a little bit, and we're headed to the red carpet now. So come along, and let's see what happens. All right, so we actually got here before John did, but if you look, we've got this beautiful waiting room here where John's gonna come and meet the fans. It's gonna be so great. And like I said, we brought all these giant Lego sets. So we've got the Escape from the Lost Tomb, which has Sala in it, the first ever Lego set to have Sala. Brought a whole bunch to give away and have John autograph for some fans, but he's not here yet. So let's go explore the theater. They've got some crazy stuff here, so let's check it out. Okay, so we have tons of Indiana Jones cosplayers head this way, and the coolest thing we have a life-size Ark of the Covenant. Now, I really hope nobody opens it because we know what happens when that happens. And if you do, make sure you shield your eyes. We've got all kinds of indie cosplayers here and it's already off to a good start. So we're in line now. They have a legitimate camel here. Like, Gotta meet him. <laughs> That's a camel. <laughs> picked up our tickets gonna go in the theater here shortly but before that we've got the meet and greet with John they're gonna have food they're gonna have all kinds of fun stuff so literally the fun's just getting started they've got the art they've got the indie cosplayers the camel outside this is amazing as an Indiana Jones die-hard lifelong fan this is like a dream come true now if only Harrison shows up <laughs> bad dates <laughs> By the way, I love the color of your suit. Oh, well, thank you so much. All right, so that was a wrap at the beginning. We've got the sets signed by John here. Super, super cool. We're going to catch up with John after the movie, but now we're going in to see Dial of Destiny. So can't film in there. Well, we can't film the movie. Maybe there will be some fun stuff before. I don't know. You'll see. Stay tuned. I wanted you to be back here in Salt Lake City for this special screening of the Indiana Jones and the, oh, the, oh, yeah, but, <laughs> anyway, look, this is a charity screening for Heroes Helping Kids. The care and nurture of children is actually one of the defining conditions, I think, of being an adult. What is an adult? An adult is one who cares for children. Today, I had the experience of meeting a young man of 14 with a sense of mortality in his eyes. I think he will get better, but the next few months and possibly years are going to be painful, difficult, traumatic, dispiriting for him. And the charity helps not only him, but his parents. This is Jim Smart, one of the Lego masters. A lenticular works by turning the left to right, and you get a different portrait of Sala and Indiana Jones. And really what you want to see is the last of the Indiana Jones films. Believe me, you're in for a great Right. It's been a fun night, John. It has been a wonderful. It's been, it's been a wonderful night, and and I get to give out some of these or sign some of these. These are fantastic. Isn't it amazing? You're finally Sala as a Lego minifig. I think I've been. Haven't I been Sala before? This is your first one. Is it really? Very first one. You've been Gimli a couple of times. I've been Gimli a few times. Yeah, but first Sala. Yes. I think they did a pretty good job. I think that looks like you. Oh, well, you know, really? <laughs> they don't put noses on Lego figures, but you know, other than that, I think they got it down pretty good. Okay, well, <laughs> that one's me. <laughs> you you see the resemblance? Hmm. <laughs> there it is. A, a British tar, etc. <laughs> 
Well, John, it was so fun watching the movie tonight and seeing everybody react to your scenes. Every time you came on camera, everybody's getting out of their seats and cheering. So you don't, you don't, you don't think that's just because I was the guest for the night? I don't know. I saw the movie last night and it happened too. It's just, oh, you got so many touching scenes in the movie and it's just yeah. so great to it's, it's, end the saga with you in it, man. Yes. Well, it's, it's wonderful. It, it is, I think, probably the last uh, of, the, of the Indiana Joneses and it would have been wrong to say no to it. I, I would have hope that the park was a bit bigger, but it's, uh, you know, it's not about Seller, actually, it's about Indy. When you say about, you've got the passport, yes. I was thinking like, oh my gosh, is he going? Is he going to be in this a little bit more? Well, that's why I put that line in, but... Um, that was your idea? Uh, yes, oh, uh, wow. I think, and James actually acknowledged that, he said. He said, you gave me the scene, you know, you said, I love, I, I miss the desert, I miss the sea. I miss waking up each morning, wondering what new adventure the day will bring, something like that. Mm, yes. That sounded like it to me. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I want to thank you guys for supporting this, this Heroes Helping uh, Kids uh, thing, because it really is hugely valuable. These, what start off as being small local charities, can grow and gather momentum and they can benefit not just the children who are in in some sort of particular need but perhaps the mothers who are struggling and i know that that is the intention of this charity and everything we can do to help it along makes the world actually a better place there's in everyday life i meet real heroes Mothers struggling with children, fathers wondering how the heck they will keep the roof over their head and, and, and feed the children. And we as a society, we as, no, not, never mind society, we as fellow humans must do what we can to help our fellow man. And I'm filled with admiration for this uh, small but growing charity. And, uh, and, 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 and when you big guys in, in Legoland do things like this, it really does help. And the joy it puts on the faces of some of those children is just wonderful. As they look around, wondering which one, which one of them they're going to pick. Oh, this one, yes. Mm, yeah, no, but no, yeah, that one, I think. You know, it's that. And you can see their little creative minds working and working out how it'll go together. And that's glorious. Anything that stimulates a child and makes it think and makes it dream is, makes a real contribution to the health of our, of our, of our peoples. Wonderful, thank you. It's amazing, and we're getting to give away several of these, so we get to do that. And you're a hero for so many, so it ties it all together. So, John, thank you so much. Very good. Absolutely. Thank you. If you liked what you saw and you liked what you heard, feel free to click that subscribe button for more LEGO videos coming in the near future.